I usually don't bother to retest things once I've already done like a uh, the old style photo with all the listed numbers, but I thought, you know, since I did the simplicity verve yesterday, let's uh, look at its successor. Well, kind of, at least. Uh, the wonder came in many different uh, variations, and this was like the top of the line. Because you had a straight suction wonder, you had one with a compact power nozzle. Oh yeah, there was a turbine nozzle one. So you had straight suction, turbine, uh, compact nozzle, full-size nozzle, and then you had two versions of the Tandemair nozzle initially. You had the Tandemair Deluxe and the Tandemair Premium. The difference between the two was that the Deluxe used a uh, stretch belt, which I always thought was ridiculous. I want to say the selling price of them when they were out was like uh, ten ninety nine for the Deluxe. And it's like, you know, when the full-size nozzle gives you the lifetime belt, you know, why would you then take that away for a more expensive model? But then, you know, they put it back on the Tandem Air Premium. But, you know, as any Tacconi person will realize, or recognize, rather, this is the same as one of their ultra lightweights like the uh in the simplicity case it would be it would be the freedom or in the Ricard case the super light but um yeah i i actually quite like this machine i mean it's not the most powerful canister out there but i find that you know it's got a nice long flexible hose it's fairly quiet Nozzle sounds pleasant and produces a fair amount of visible agitation, which I like. And uh, the machine seems fairly simple to me. You know, you just got your slider down here for your speed control. You got your power switch. And then your cord winder here works like an Electrolux. And then um, I know my friend Josh doesn't like this. Because uh, he prefers them to have all caster wheels, which, you know, that definitely has its advantages. You know, it's nice to be able to push the machi machine to the side. But I found this is like one of the most weightless canisters when it comes to like rolling over hard floors. It takes like no effort to move it. So, I mean, even though it's not quite as maneuverable... I like the way it handles. And uh, out of curiosity, I pulled a style H bag out, which is what they use like in the Verve and the uh, other machines of that body style. The Wonder Bag, I always thought it would be smaller because it's a smaller body, but the Wonder Bag is just slightly bigger, which is surprising. Same width, but slightly longer. Never knew. <clears throat> All right, so we got our ambient voltage. We'll turn this on and we'll take our electrical measurements. So I'll start with the machine. Turn the nozzle on. Right about 12 amps. Well, a little under. And just because I know there's a fair amount of stuff in here, I'm going to switch the bag out here. It uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Auric, you know, having the sliding door on here. But the... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Active charcoal filter. And I think that was exclusive to the premium models. And then, of course, we have a HEPA filter up top here, which I've never changed the HEPA filter. I would assume... Yeah, it's a little darkened by carbon dust, but there's really not too much in there. Let's get that back into place.
tell the arrows are aligned, it says, and they are most certainly aligned. Let's tuck that back there. And there we go. New bag. Hooray. Flow measurement of the body. Suction moving. Oh yeah. Interesting little thing about these. It's a 35 millimeter connection. So we have to use this reducer. Wands attached. Oh. And because I'm awesome, we are actually going to measure the power nozzle on its own. But I suppose, you know, I probably should have explained the tandem air concept earlier in the video, but this actually has its own uh, fan in it. And then, of course, we have the suction motor that's in the main thing. So, I mean, they're made to work together, you know, hence tandem. But yeah, let's see how this does on its own, and then we'll connect the machine and... Finish it up. All right, here we are, nozzle off, canister running. Lots of leakage to be heard. Now we'll activate the nozzle. Yeah, it's definitely not one of my most powerful ones, but it's still one of my favorites. I like that agitation on it. I just find it to be pleasant to use. I just, you know, it could be more powerful, definitely. And um, another thing I like about it is it had an optional electric tool. Now, this is the Wesselworks HEB160, and 
You know, I've before getting this, I never actually used one of these before, but I found out that these are very, very restrictive. And that is because they have a very narrow air channel in there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But, you know, it's really narrow, and it kind of runs underneath what I'm assuming is the motor. So it really kind of limits limits its cleaning power as opposed to things that are a little more straight through like the Electrolux Sidekick. <clears throat> but, you know, I don't think this thing was worth the uh, $1,250 price tag back in the day. Maybe, I'd say it maybe be a good buy at about 800 or at least I think so. Because, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles and features you would find in a lot of the other machines. But, I don't know. I still like it. <laughs> so...